Hey guys, this is Wojtek from Jolly Monster Studio, and today we're going to continue with another video in our series of tutorials talking about sounds. Now, this is going to be an introductory lesson where we're going to talk about, well, how do we actually obtain these sounds? What are some of the resources out on the internet that allow us to um, get this type of content for our indie games? Um, the resource we're going to be looking at specifically is called Freesound. Um, we're also going to look at, once we have those sounds, well, what do we do with them? So we're going to look at editing them using a tool called Audacity, um, which is a free open source um, audio editor, works really well, and we're going to use it to rip out chunks of our audio and turn them into single um, WAV files representing our punches. And then lastly, we're going to take a look at importing those sounds into Unreal. Now, before we get too far, let's talk a little bit about why are sounds important. So let's take a look at this clip from Project A, where Sammo Hung and Jackie Chan beat the crap out of a bunch of ruffians. Now you'll notice very quickly that even though there's a pile of action happening on screen, without any sound, music, any sort of audible cues to the viewer, um, we have a feel for what's happening in the scene, but we don't really emotionally kind of attach ourselves to it. So let's rewind a little bit and now play it back with sound. So you can see that with just the inclusion of a couple of different sounds, we get a completely different perspective on our action. We get notifications as to what is happening in the scene, even though we may be missing some of the action um, on the screen. We get these sort of audible cues that we would normally um, just dismiss. We also create an emotional connection with our characters and our action. We know that when the bad guys are being hit or the good guys are being hit, that they're experiencing pain, that um, they're obviously not happy about it, that the action has a physical impact on them as characters. Um, and then the other thing, other thing we get is emphasis on different parts of the scene. So towards the end of that clip where um, Jackie Chan and Sammo Hung smack the guy's head, you notice that the little um, um, clanks that the wooden pieces make force you to focus on the guy's head. So sounds are an integ integral part of our video games and we as game designers should consider um, what it does to the player's experience. Um, and these are things we're going to be covering as we continue our tutorials, but let's start off with actually getting some sounds into our game. So now to actually get some of these sounds into our game, let's first talk about where do we get these sounds from? Now there's a whole pile of different resources out there on the internet for us indie game devs. Um, the one that I've been perusing the most as of recent is freesound.org, and I'll make sure to include that link as well as any other links um, in the description below. So check those out. Um, but Freesound is a really nice sort of collection of various sound effects, uh, some professional, some amateur, but great selection and in our case we're going to look for something that matches the theme of our game so i already have this um, search query here for kung fu punches and you'll notice there's a whole pile of different sound effects now the one we're going to look at is this guy here primarily because it has a bunch of different sounds within a single audio file and a lot of sound effect libraries do come like that, so it's up to you then as the game developer to strip them out into individual A files and then import them into your Unreal Engine. Um, so let's take a look at this guy here, Kung Fu Punches. Uh, when we play it back, you'll notice there's a whole pile of different punches embedded in a single audio file. So we're going to stop that and download our file. And then with it downloaded, we're going to pop open an audio editor 
and start actually piecing or piecing um, taking out the individual sound or the punch sounds and putting them as separate wave files so the tool we're going to use for that is called audacity and again you can find the links below it's a free tool it's open source it's really easy to work with um, super fast and clean from a just usability standpoint i really like it um, it also comes with a whole bunch of different flavors of um, operating system installation so we got windows mac linux um, it works really well in all of these environments so you're going to download audacity and then with it launched we're going to start editing our audio file okay so i've gone ahead and downloaded our audio file and i've also popped open audacity and just a quick overview of audacity and where things live um, top left hand corner you've got your um, mic volume you've got your sound volumes you've got the hardware um, that the system is recognizing for your audio recording needs you've got your monitor on the right hand side so you can figure out your audio levels um, you also have this center pane here and this is where all of our audio tracks are going to show up once we import them um, bottom portion has all the sort of start and audio positioning um, bit rates things like that and then effects is also interesting as it has a pile of different ways for you to manipulate your audio um, you've got equalization noise reduction normalize um, distortions and even a wah pedal if you want to simulate you know Jimi Hendrix guitar um, but in our case all we're gonna do is just drag in our audio file and we'll be prompted with this window that says hey do I want to make a copy of this audio file um, before I start you know blowing it up over here or do I want to just read it directly in which case I'm going to um, update this file as we manipulate it over on the left hand side so you always want to start with a copy that way your original is in place uh, sorry intact and then um, if you make mistakes you can just kind of re-import it and, and try again so we're going to bring in our file and you will notice it's similar um, from the wave pattern standpoint to um, the freesound website where we have now our individual punch sounds so now it's really up to us to determine which punch sounds we want so you can use this kind of um, center pane here to kick off playback from a specific point in time so there's a couple of punches okay so I kind of like this one it's got a little bit more bass to it um, so we're going to isolate this one punch and extract it out um, for our game now to do that you can hold down control and your mouse wheel up or down to zoom in on a specific section of your of your audio so we know um, our wave pattern is somewhere around here there it is so we can just stop our playback and zoom in on this highlighted section so we're going to highlight this section and just start zooming in so we don't forget where our playback is now if you highlight the section the way you do it is you go on the wave line and sort of drag click um, the section you want if you press space it will play back just that one section so with it highlighted we're going to go to edit copy or control C and grab this um, audio snippet now with that in place we're going to say file new or control N to open up a new audacity editor then we can say edit paste or control V to bring in our single audio slice and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more on it and there it is so if we play it back using space there's just our single audio file now you also notice there's space in before and space after your sound effect so it's really then up to you as the creative person trying to um, set up these sound effects to determine do I want that additional white noise or do I want to remove it um, in our case we want to strip it off because we want our punch sound to be as exact as possible from time of impact so you'll notice there's a little bit of delay if we 
go further back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the section right before our wave patterns start. And you'll notice it's pretty flat. And I'll just highlight it over to the left and I can click delete on my keyboard and just get rid of that initial slice. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing at the end. One thing to be careful of is all of these little minutia um, bits of sound actually create um, depth to your sound effect. So if you strip off too much of it, you may have these sort of hard cuts um, that are not pleasant to the ear and, and your, you know, your audience will notice them and then they may you know, get kind of annoyed over time if they hear too much of that. So you want to keep things you know, sort of as clean as possible, as much as you can. Obviously, we're all amateurs, so this is not going to be uh, perfect. But there's our sound. With our sound in place, we can now save it and export it out as a WAV file to import into Unreal. And to do that, you go to File, Export, Export as WAV. And this is going to prompt us with um, a directory selection, and we're just going to pick our file name. I already have one here because I was working on this earlier, and I'm just going to overwrite it with the name of punch underscore 01. And we'll just replace that. You can also add in metadata if you want to keep track of all your sound effects. And we're just going to exclude all of that and click OK. So there we go. We found some sounds. We um, edited them just a little bit, put them into a single um, WAV file, and now we're ready to import it into Unreal. With our Unreal Editor open, I've simply navigated to our Tutorial, resor tutorial Resources folder um, and the Audio subfolder, and all I'm going to do is take our WAV file and drag it into the content space below. And there we go. We've just imported our first punch sound into Unreal. When we play it back, there it goes. So that's it for this tutorial, and we're going to start picking up the integration of our sounds into our game in the next videos. So thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys next time.